Welcome to Advit DevOps World. This is the continuation of DevOps Introduction 2 video. I request you to watch Introduction 2 video prior watching this video. My agenda of this video is to explain DevOps roles and responsibilities and DevOps tools. Okay, as a DevOps engineer, what are all the tools I we must have to learn to survive as a DevOps engineer and what is the scope for them right so now let's start okay so before we understand that to continue to the previous video I just want to finish the CACD flow of CACD flow right so <coughs> we understand continuous integration what is continuous deployment in the previous video so this is how as soon as the developer checks the code into the into the uh, version management into the version management tool it may be svn gate okay uh, that it will uh, trigger the jenkins build using the webhook or either way okay, either either pull request can be configured in the jenkins to pick up the um, build as soon as developer check in the check in the code in version management tool okay so it triggers the build here and uh, and and also it will run the unit test cases and it generates the artifact here and jenkins will always have set of slave boxes which supports to do multiple builds parallelly right and uh, as soon as the jenkins job has been completed it will also send the email notifications to the developers or all the for all the request stakeholders it is not just the email, email you can also send a uh, communic communicator okay i am also we can also send the messages in im or we can also send uh twitter okay we can also um tweet also can be done okay uh we can also post it in facebook like that several notifications any kind of notification it can be email it can be sms it can be im anything right so in, in it this notification will explain what is the status of your bill whether it is success and who has done what are the changes have been done it will show all this information about that respective bill so as soon as that is completed successfully if your bill completed successfully that means where was generated then that archive this is called as archive right so this this archive will be storing it in the artifactory repository we will upload all these things in the artifactory repository one dot jar file okay so application two dot jar file so for every application okay every, for every uh, for every build it will generate one version and upload it here okay so <clears throat> once that is being done continuous deployment process kick starts here right continuous deployment is a process of automating the deployments across all the environments so see there are there are several tools are there for implementing uh, deployment automation okay um uh, uh, run uh, like uh, tools are like um to automate this uh, tool, tools are like run deck uh, you can see set of tools here right uh, this is one of the uh, periodic table which shows all the tools list here so for, for deployment management you can see uh, that uh, you can see database mass uh, I'm sorry um, deployment ma deployment automation uh, you, you can see deploy bold uh, urban code urban code run deck here right run deck these are all tools which helps us to automate our deployments across all the environments okay so first it should it should deploy the code into the itg and then qa and then cert and then production okay so it must go one by one okay once the validation is been done here only then it should go here okay we should not skip any environment here okay so that is about cicd process okay cicd is a process of uh, it's a it's a complete application automation flow right from the development stage till the production delivery okay so you can see i hope you can see this uh, this one here this is continuous integration till this part and this part is called as continuous deployment okay right now 
let me uh, show you this okay so th this periodic table this periodic table explains this periodic table shows all uh, all the tools all the devops tools which are in the market and which are more popular okay scm if you select this automatically that, that will be highlighted here github git bitbucket and continuous integration tools deployment tools cloud right so these are all the tools belongs to the uh devops right let me let me show you this diagram again so what what devops has done here devops has brought everything into one single umbrella all these tools were there even earlier okay so why it become more popular right now why because devops has brought every tool okay almost all operations related tools all and and it helps to automate all the operations okay and it brought everything into single umbrella called as devops practices like if you can see this here continuous integration continuous uh, deployment right continuous integration continuous deployment build management version management database management right database database management scripting configuration management testing automation artifact repository management monitoring log logging tools okay you, okay so these are all the these are all the concepts these, these are all each and every uh, everything will have set of tools again okay continuous integration will have jenkins hudson team city continuous deployment run deck and deployment automation tool build management uh, like build tools version management right uh, git svn uh, tfs clear case database management db master scripting either shell scripting or perl scripting okay several things are there okay for every concept if you can learn if you can learn at least one tool from each and every concept that is well and good that is more than enough to survive as a devops engineer okay so why why i'm saying just one tool okay if you take version management if you if you have good knowledge in svn if you have good knowledge in svn then that is easy to easy to learn gate or some another tool because almost all almost all tools under version management follows the version management principles right like creating the version tag and what is branch okay merging almost all this few concepts okay 70 to 75 percent of concepts will be the same but the way they have implemented the commands that the way they monitor it and version managing okay logically it will be it, it might be uh, uh you know uh almost uh it may be the same okay so logically it will be the same but you know syntactically how they are doing and how they are managing be different under each and every concept here yeah. uh, okay and uh right so like under scripting as i said scripting automation uh it, it helps us to automate all our manual tasks configuration management configuration management helps to automate infrastructure activity infra as a code this helps us to or manage okay or uh, server provisioning activities okay provisioning activities um in 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 the infrastructure okay using these tools okay there are several tools puppet chaff ansible search if you can learn at least one tool from me from this uh, group you know that is that is uh, well and good too okay right and cloud why do we need to cloud right uh, as a devops engineer you might have to work in cloud infrastructure as well okay we cannot say every project might have on-premise server okay there might be servers okay which might you you might have to automate the deployment process in cloud also you might have to uh, uh install something in cloud also in that case if you don't know cloud that is very difficult for you to survive so that's the reason you should also learn uh, at least few basics in the cloud and operating systems right operating systems uh why do we, why do we need to learn operating systems here right most of the servers in the in the real time you will be seeing you know linux or unix boxes right so 
70 70 to 75% of the boxes servers okay we, we, we using linux boxes okay so in that case you know you you without learning linux commands or unix commands you will not be able to work in the environments right so uh, we have already understand what is environment here right for each environment you will have set of server okay so uh, with uh, without understanding without learning this linux commands you will not be able to work in that respective environment okay database management which helps us to automate our database database deployments database our administration and monitoring tools which helps us to monitor our applications okay so let me revise everything here okay devops devops is a collaboration devops is a collaboration process between the development and operations okay it helps us to it helps us to deliver the product as quickly as possible which supports the complete agile methodology okay so that's called devops so so these are all the things right these are all the concepts okay if you um if you can learn all this process all these concepts that is well and good to survive as a devops engineer in the real time okay so I, I i suggest you to practice i suggest you to learn at least one tool from each and every concept here okay so so this is the this is the overall view of devops okay all the best thank you so much for watching my video welcome to devops uh with devops world thank you